Let's consider a uh, simple NAND gate. So we have the inputs A and B and we have the outputs. So now we know its truth table and when we say the truth table that means when the inputs are ready like this combination then we know what the output is. So these are all one only it generates a zero when the outputs are the same one. So but in 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 real world you continuously get inputs so your inputs change. So let's say you have an input sequence like this you are getting 0 1 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 so this happens at the time 1 this happens at time 2 this happens at time 3 and this happens at time 4 so every time let's say every second or every 1 millisecond or every minute your inputs change and when your inputs change, of course, you will have a, a different output. So instead of putting into this kind of like a table, we like to put it in a timing diagram. So we say, so look at A. A is 0, 1, 1, 1. So A starts as 0, then go to 1. So I call this level zero and this level one zero means zero also is considered low one is also considered high so this would be my a b is its first one one then at some point it goes to zero and it goes to 1 again. So in this case, this area is your T0, T1, I'm sorry. This is your T2. This is your T3. And finally, this part is T4. They don't have to be equal. They can change anytime. And then you look at these inputs and you create your, your outputs. So we already wrote here, but we can also develop here. So it's going to be 1. And when the inputs are 1 at the same time, it's going to be 0 until one of the outputs change. Then it's going to go to 1 and it's going to stay at 1. So this is your output. So this is a timing diagram that you can you can develop for for these simple circuits. So now let's let's see what will happen in a more complex circuit. Let's say again we have a NAND gate, but we have another NAND gate. And this has an input C and this is your output. And let's see what's going to happen here. But first, we need to know what our inputs are. So I'm not going to draw this, and I'm going to put it here because I, it's going to look nicer. So these are the input combinations that are given to us. I'll just draw some lines here. Okay, I'm not going to draw a line. So we have A, B, and C. So now we can actually write this node, uh, the output of first NAND gate. Let's call this node as X. We can generate X as if as similar to what we did here. So let's say this is our X. And X is going to be related to A and B. So it will only generate a 0 if the out inputs are 1. So this is 0, 1. That's going to be a 1. Until here, 
then it's going to be zero until the inputs change again and then it's going to stay one because the inputs are one and zero so this is your x and now now that we have our x can we write our y which is our output so for output this NAND gate has inputs as C and X so we will just look at this C and X so C is 0 and X is 1 that means your output is gonna be 1 now your outputs inputs are 1 at the same time here that means you're gonna have a 0 until one of the inputs change so then it's gonna go to 1 again these are both 0 still 1 both 0 0 1 still 1 and then 1 1 is gonna go to 0 so this is a timing diagram for a 2 NAND gate circuit